JC. He got his own logo. It's like a double edged letter. Okay, we got black and white. Already feeling that, you know, classic 1940s, you know. Oh, that was foreboding. That was a very foreshadowing scene. Is that a coffin? He's stepping out of the coffin. He is right now rapping in the perspective of this like vampire character, which I think is really, really cool. He's gonna kind of tell a story in this in this persona. Wow. I really like, I'm sorry for pausing so much early. Um, I'm just loving all these references to like vampire lore and like folk culture. I've seen a couple of Dracula movies, so I think I understand these like references that he's like talking about. Um, but let's keep diving in. He's keeping the, the flow really fun. Oh, we're getting vocals too. This is a pretty big production. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna talk yet. Oh, he's going EDM? This is interesting, man. This is like... Oh, by the way, bro. Is Mark on the team right now for styling? Because he looks amazing. Looks so fly in that red suit, but also that those the fur. That line is so hard. Hold up. Not your typical Twilight. I like that. Cause he's saying he's just saying like I'm not like these other vampires, but it's when he says when the sun. Wait, no, no, wait, wait. He rhymes it. He rhymes it. They doubt, but I know that I can. When the sun goes down, just know that I am. He's really committing to this, um, you know, vampire concept lyrically. The quality? Oh, man. I have to say, visually, Josh is very fitting for a concept like this, um, vampires. Is that Red Sea? Is this team behind the video, is this their typical like production team? Because this seems a little out there and different. I know that's what the concept is, so maybe it's an intentional thing, but for me, just the dir the direction of this video and how they piece the scenes together just seems kind of different. I don't know. Like the quick cuts and just... That's just the observation I felt while watching this, but some of y'all might need to correct me. He's like trying to turn them into a vampire. That's pretty cool choreo, I'm not gonna lie. Like putting that in your choreo, that's kind of a next level thing. Oh, oh, we we unlocked the shirtless, Josh. This is... Am my eyes deceiving me? I swear that was... Angela and Charisse from Kaya. Hold up, real quick. It was a little dark in there, but 
I feel like I can spot, you know, my favorites. In. That has to be them. Those are some cool neon, like marks on his back. I'm, was that like a? That has to be like marker. Man, bro. So, I'm just gonna go out and say, this piece that Josh has given us is something that I feel like a lot of us would not have expected from him to give, but I mean that in like the best way possible. I think for me, like when I watch a artist release their first solo project, I feel like that first song, that first release should be indicative of, you know, their identity as an artist, like the most accurate representation of that. And I really feel like that was reflected here. And here's my reasons why. I'm gonna divide it in two parts, but the first part is all of what he is capable of doing vocally was on display. He was rapping and singing on an EDM beat. That is an interesting thing in it itself. Um, makes for an opportunity to have, you know, fun choreography as well. And the other side to kind of my whole like tangent with this video, he was able to lean into his natural talents. And what do I mean by natural talents? I watched enough Wish Bus performances and also just like I can advocate for this like I saw him in person like I've seen him perform songs like Mana in person where he really like gets into this like character and persona like his eyes really light up and I was just like man that is just a special trait that he has as a performer I feel like.